City. A lot of excitement, and we're taking a look now. Here comes Philadelphia's own Sean Hart coming in today. It's an 11-4 record, two draws. Only five knockouts, not a lot of punching power. Had his better days probably down in the light heavyweight division. And there he is, undefeated, Lou Savarese. 230 pounds, 6 foot 5, 32 and 0, 26 knockouts. That's Tommy Gallagher. His trainer coming up with him along with Peter Kahn. And the question is, can he, is it really a stigma, as you mentioned in our intros today, John, of being Big White Hope? Or is it something that he wants to be and be successful at and hasn't had the opportunity yet? But we'll find out. But now we're going to go up to our ring announcer, Ed Darien, with the official introductions. From the Grand Valley's Casino Resort here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, as Cedric Kushner Promotions and New Contenders Boxing in association with Corona Extra and The Ground proudly present Heavyweight Explosion, this afternoon's big main event, and is approved by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, the Honorable Larry Hazard, Senior Commissioner, the Honorable Jerry Gormley, Chairman. Members of the board include Gary Shaw and Al Daniel, Sr. Our matchmaker for this afternoon's big main event is Bill Benton. The chief physician in attendance of inside is Dr. Frank B. Doggett, along with Dr. Charles E. Wilson and Dr. Ronald Wood. Our judges, Barbara Perez, Paul Venti, and Melvina Lathan. The timekeeper of the bell is Arthur Spell. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee Earl Brown. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10-round heavyweight bout, referee Tony Perez. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First in the red corner, wearing the multicolored trim trunks. He weighed in at 211 and one half pounds. Now this young pugilist has 11 wins, four losses, two draws, with five knockouts. Now he is a native of Allentown, Pennsylvania, and making his home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome aboard Sean Hart Attack. Hart. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks with the black trim. He weighed in at even 230 pounds. He is undefeated in 32 pro bouts with 26 big knockouts. The former two-time New York Golden Gloves champion. He is a native of the Bronx, New York. And now making his home in Greenwood Lake, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Lou, the Bronx Bummer Savaris. Savaris. Give me a good clean fight, and I will not bother neither one of you. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands, and most important, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands, good luck to both of you. All right, and we, and we have to mention the fact that we talked about, you know, as Savary's been tested and as he moved up in competition, Terry Davis was supposed to be the opponent today, which definitely would have represented a move up in class to Savary's. He hurt his shoulder, had to pull out, and in comes Sean Hart on short notice. Hart, we last saw him on heavyweight explosion, went the full eight rounds with David Tua. So that's a bit of an endorsement of Hart's chin. I think he also took that fight on short notice. So he's Mr. Uh, 911. Savarese's last fight right here in heavyweight explosion, October 6th against Olean Alexander. Stopped him in the sixth round. Break, break, break. This is fourth fight in 1995. And no doubt be his last because he's scheduled to fight January 12th, 96 at Madison Square Garden. Sean Hart is trained and managed by his father, Carson Hart, and they were both very concerned coming into this fight that Lou Savarese would use dirty tactics. They cited the Nathaniel Fitch fight. <laughs> Had to be one of the most bizarre fights in boxing history. It took place in Pennsylvania, biting and clawing and scratching and 
Well, well Carson Hart cited 35 fouls by Lou Savarese in that fight. But sometimes that's what happens if you get a fight gets out of control and, and the referee doesn't take control of the fight. It snowballs. And that was the only time that Savarese had to go the full 10 rounds. He said fights go to distance, but that was the only 10 rounder. Of course, that was back in April of 93. This is scheduled for 10 today. Hart had a bizarre ending to a fight back in May against David Isaac Wire in New York at the Armory. Finally was declared a no contest too, where he stepped on something on the ring apron, slipped. He said it was a very sm leg. a small venue with a small ring, and and the ref and the judges had their notebooks and pens on the ring apron, and he stepped outside and he twisted his ankle. Only in boxing. Under a minute to go in round number one. We're scheduled for ten. I was about to say not much going on, and there's Savarese with a takedown. I don't know, he, he hit him with an uppercut, though, too. He gets a warning from referee Tony Perez. And he just took the knee. And I wonder if... Which is probably a smart move. He's trying to recoup, because he got hit with a short uppercut, charging in with his head down. I also wonder, though, if he hurt his leg going down, that same leg that he hurt in the eyes. Now he's dancing pretty good now. Trying to stay out of the way of Savarese. Tell you what, late last night, Sean Hart was studying for his take-home final. He's a first semester law student at Temple University. Well, that's why he wants to cite the rules. We come to the end of round number one on Heavyweight Explosion. We take a look in the corner of law student Sean Hart. Had a bizarre takedown and seemed to be, I couldn't quite figure out exactly like a push down. There was grappling We're going to take a look at the action here from round number one. Let's take a look. He did get hit with a hard right. That's why. And then was totally off balance. He might have fallen on his own. That's why he went back down to one knee and took the eight count, which I think turned out to be a smart move. And there was a good body shot in there by Savarese also. And you see Lou working to the body and to the head. John, except for the obvious, what do you think it's been about Savarese that kept him from moving up in competition? I think his previous management Played it too safe. Round number two of a schedule 10, and we were discussing between rounds exactly why Savarese hasn't moved up in competition. And John, you had some thoughts about the previous management. Well, there comes a time, Marty, and you know this, when, when, when you got to throw your guy in to see if he can swim. I mean, you can learn as you're, as you're moving along with your career. Certainly, you don't want to be rushed into anything where you take a fight before you're ready. But there comes a point, I mean, Lou Savarese is 30 years old now. He's 32 and 0. And he hasn't had anything that resembles, really, a live opponent in front of him. He's only been 10 rounds one time, and that was in that wild Nathaniel Fitch fight. And that was way back in April of 93. He's got 26 knockouts, though, in his 32 wins. And again, the credit to the new management and to our matchmaker, Bill Benton. He was supposed to be in there with Terry Davis, who had to pull out with a shoulder injury. And I've seen Terry Davis fight, and that would have been a very interesting battle today. And maybe we can see it again in the future. Well, Lou is really taking his time here very nicely, trying to use his jab to walk down Hart. He'd be well advised to work on the body a little bit here, though. Nice short little right uppercut, right between the gloves of Hart. And of course, mentioning Terry Davis, assuming that his shoulder heals okay, and new fans of Heavyweight Explosion will get to see him against Obed Sullivan in January. On his place. Oh, and a big right hand over the top and down. Bruce Hart. What is Sean Hart yelling? He doesn't know where he is. No, he's out of it. That fight's got to be stopped. He's cursing it. Oh, he's trying to say it was Savarese. a fun. I gotta tell you, that was a big right hand. He doesn't know right what hand. The temple, side of the head, and Sean Hart goes down like a sack of potatoes. 
Well, like we said before the fight, his father had a drum into him that Lou Savarese was going to fight a dirty fight. And as soon as he got hit a couple of times, he was complaining. But that was were clean blows by Lou Savarese. Lou Savarese with a big knockout win here. Improves the 33-0. His 27th knockout. Sean Hart gets to go back to law school. And I, I would say, John, a much better profession for him. But we're going to take a look here at action from round number two and look for that right here and there it is right behind the ear <laughs> take a look at it from another angle i think he's complaining that you lou used the left forearm right there you see the forearm that kind of came close to the throat area <laughs> well set up the right hey, if you get away with it it works sean can go back to his take-home exam but a and we're going to go up to Ed Darien with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Perez stops this bout at 1 minute and 39 seconds of the second round. And a winner by a TKO, Lou, the Bronx Bomber, Savarese. Savarese. Now let's have a nice round of applause for Sean Hart. Let's hear it for him. Well, there you go. Big six foot five, Lou Savarese with On his 27th knockout, his 33rd ground, win. No Resort. losses. Sean Hart drops Cedric to 11, Christian 5, and 2. New contenders boxing. And, you know, we look forward to seeing Corona what Savarese Extra. is going to do on that big show at Madison Square Garden January 12th and just who he's going to step into that ring with. And hopefully he'll continue to want to move up in class. As you mentioned, John, 30 years of age, that, that clock is ticking. Well, for Sean Hart, back to law school. For Lou Savarese, the jury is still out. Is he of championship timber? We'll have to wait and see. Right. Well, earlier today, as we take a look at the, uh, wow, where did all these people come from? Lou's very happy right now as they flood the ring with women, as that must be in his purse. Earlier today, though, we got to see the former 118-pound champion of the world, Junior Jones, came into the fight at 36-2, and 22 knockouts, still trying to get back on track, looking for his fifth straight win. He came in against Albert Renzone out of San Antonio, Texas, a 9-18 and fighter, and... Uh, it was a very interesting fight. We're going to pick that up. It's a scheduled 10-rounder, and we're going to pick it up at the open.